Hey guys, this is Krista Acura with another video. I never knew how much of a weeb slash otaku slash career boo slash fangirl I was until February. So this video is more like one of my, I don't know what to call it, but it could be like February favourite or show of the month. Last month, oh my gosh, last month, last month, a new show was broadcasted on Disney but I started watching it in December. Um, it's not really a Disney show and it's, it's more, I don't know what kind of show it's called but it's not for kids. Let me just say this once, this show is not for kids. I don't care if it's on Disney Channel but it's not for kids. So this show, oh my gosh, the fan club of this show is actually live. It's actually the best thing I've actually joined lately compared to like K-pop fan world, it's just madness, everybody's bashing each other, everyone's getting to fights, there's always beef. Anime slash otaku fan club, too many ships. It's just too many ships for me to handle. So this one is a cartoon and it is Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir. Oh my gosh, I love this show so much. No one knows how much I love this show. I've, it's got to the point where I'm actually obsessed with it. Like, I watch, I binge watch it every day now, even though I've already watched the episode, I don't care. I don't care. I just watch it and 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 watch it. I can legit watch it every day of my life without getting tired of it. Because this show is actually amazing. So it's a French slash Korean animated show. And it, it, the whole show is based in Paris. And it's about a girl called Marionette who lives a double life in Paris in a school with this other guy called Adrian and his friends and then at night they both turn into Ladybug and Cat Noir and they go on adventures, not really adventures, they stop crying the bad guy is called Hawk Moth, I know Butterfly, Butterfly reminds me of BTS's song Butterfly and what they do is they have to stop all the Akumas taking over people so they have to like defeat the bad guy find where the Akumas are located and like destroy them and like set them free um just to let you guys know if you haven't watched it but want to watch it i advise you not to watch this because this is going to contain a lot of spoilers and you can't say i didn't warn you because uh, i just did so firstly what i really love about the show is just the plot like Marionette, I think she is my spirit animal. Marionette is my spirit animal. I can connect with her just like that. So, as Marionette, like not as her other side, like double life ladybug, but as Marionette, she's shy, she's outgoing, she's got leadership qualities, and she's got a thing for fashion. I don't know why, but most of my spirit animals, like Jonko and like some other my like, anime and K pop biases, and like crushes they're all into fashion so I just got this thing where I just like immediate jump onto like characters or people that are into fashion so Marionette is into fashion and she goes to school and her best friend is Alia and Marionette like she's I think she's a bit like me like when she's around her crush she can't speak like le she legit can't speak she loses words and I'm just like don't worry Marionette I got you stand this feeling and then there's Adrian. Adrian. Adrian is bad. I know many Adrians, but this is my favourite Adrian, even though he doesn't exist in reality. Let's just get started on Adrian. Adrian is just bad goals, full stop. I know I have said this so many times that a certain person is bad goals, but Adrian is just goals. He, he just goes like perfection the jawline the hair the eyes oh my gosh I can't even get through an episode or even listening to the opening song of Miraculous Ladybug without crying or fangirling over Adrian and his name is oh my gosh his name Adrian Agrest oh my god I know his surname Agrest it's just it doesn't suit him but his face his personality amazing like oh my gosh my eyes <laughs> but I when I first watched Miraculous Ladybug I actually legit straight away fell in love with Adrian 
it was the first episode I watched. I didn't watch episode one at first because I just stumbled across it on YouTube one day. The first episode I watched was um, The Bubbler. This is when, like, it's his birthday, his dad's been a prick. You know them parents, like, parents are just, like, pricks sometimes. And he's just like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. So, like, he, like, kind of had an argument with his dad. And then his first best friend, Nino, tried to back him up. Like, he's like, come on, blood. I'll back you, I got you this. And then it got to the point where he didn't actually get it. And then he gets all depressed. And then Nino becomes a colonized. And yeah, and it becomes a bubbler. And oh my gosh, there's so many sides of Adrian I saw. I saw happy Adrian. I saw sad Adrian. I saw Adrian in action. I saw Cat in War in action. And then I saw the ships. And then I saw Lady Noir. Oh my gosh, my favorite ship. I know, I'm rambling on. But my favorite ship is Lady Noir. Lady Noir is a ship of Cat Noir and Lady, you know, and Ladybug. Some people would supposedly prefer Ladrian which is Ladybug and Adrian, but we'll come on to that in a second. So I rambled on a bit, I know, because so this might seem kind of confusing, but basically, actually, in reality, this video is just entirely about Miraculous Ladybug, and because I'm really into the fan base, I am going to be analysing the theories of the latest episodes and like who we actually think Hawk Moth is, and who Adrian's mum is and then my opinion on the show just to let you know no matter how much I love this show I have some hate for it and we'll begin with that okay what I really hate about the show it's more a show that has something to do with superheroes and people that have to hide their identity this is something that really really pisses me off okay look at their faces legit look at their faces okay that's with them, um, like, their normal day self. And now look at them as their superheroes. Can someone please explain to me why they can't recognise each other? Like, seriously, for example, Cat Noir. Cat Noir is basically Adrian in a black suit with a black mask on and whiskers. Nicko nicko ni whiskers. Why am I saying whiskers? I'm in cat ears. Back of this. And they got the same voice. So I don't know how Marionette or slash Ladybug cannot realise that oh my gosh, Cat Noir is your crush. It actually has been pointed out several times, like even her best friend Alia in Lady Wi-Fi or the French pr pronunciation Lady Whiffy episode pointed at the end that if you paint black on, put a mask on on a picture of Adrian, he looks like Cat Noir. But I don't understand. It's actually really so stupid. It actually just ticks me off. How can you tell me they cannot realise who each other was? Is. Sorry. English. Bad. It's actually really stupid. It's actually really stupid. Marionette is the same thing as well. As Ladybug, she's just in her Ladybug suit with the mask and ribbon. So I, they can't really tell me that they don't know each other's secret identity. That's what makes people question if it's a kid's show or not. Because if it was a kid's show, kids would be like, Oh my God, who are they? I don't know their secret identity. But if it was like for normal people, they'll be like, Yep, I know it's them. How can they don't know it's each other? I don't know. They stupid, stupid ass little hole. But yeah, that's one thing. That really pisses me off as well. And it's still on the same topic about their identity. I really don't get why they had to hide their identity from each other. Like, if you know the ship, so Marionette has a crush on Adrian, but Adrian has a crush on Ladybug. Did they not like consider like if they knew each other's identity? How amazing they would be. But I kind of understand why they don't as the directors I understand why the directors and producers haven't kind of revealed it because then the story plot would just be pointless and it'll be one of them dumb kids shows like typical kids shows that okay they finally type each other's identity and then they start dating then they defeat the bad guy and they live happily ever after 
enough about that it's on to some theory analysis the last latest episode upload of miraculous ladybug they have been loads of theories about who hawk moth is there is two options of who it could be it could either be his dad adrian's dad gabriel agrest or it cannot be adrian's dad i can understand a little why people think it's Adrian's dead. Throughout the whole season so far, we barely see his dad. His dad only made one appearance. And on to my main, it's still on point one, still evidence one, but the main actually source of where everyone's getting their theory from. Last week, the episode's Origins was released. Origins basically explained how they became Ladybug and Cat Noir and how Hawk Moth came. Evidence number two. This is a picture of Adrian's dad in that episode and Hawk Moth. If you can see, like, I thank the person on Tumblr that actually made this. Um, you can actually see the outline of his face and you can, if you line it up with an image of Adrian's dad, you can actually tell that it's actually quite similar. If for instance, that Hawk Moth is Adrian's dad, that means throughout his whole life so far as Cat Noir, Adrian is fighting his dad. The idea of him fighting his own dad all this time is kind of twisted in a way. Because imagine if you like had to fight your own dad. Like, and then you have to choose between what's good and bad. Like, that proves it's not a kid show. It's not, it's not, it's not a kid show. That just proves it first of all. Both Hawk Moth and Gabriel make an appearance in that episode. So unless you want to tell me that Hawk Moth has some next up Marvel DC's teleportation powers and that's why he was able to get from the tower which we know is on the other side of Paris all the way to the mansion then yeah I can agree with you with that. But I don't. I really don't want Gabriel to be a Hawk Moth because I would actually cry so much because when I watch Origins, there have been moments when I cried because I was trying to process the information in my mind. If Hawk Moth is Gabriel, then that will affect Adrian psychologically. Then that will affect his relationship with Marionette. And then my ship will sink. This ain't going to be Titanic, people. I've watched Origins episode so far seven times because of this moment. What, I, what me and my friends really love about Origins and, um, and other people as well, and Miraculous Ladybug, the storyline doesn't follow them typical love at first sight kind of episodes. Like, Marionette didn't at first have a crush on Adrian. <laughs> it's just so cute that like, they had this little moment underneath the umbrella and then the rain is pouring and Adrian smells and then, and then Marionette is just like, speaks to them and just like, Ugh! My mind literally exploded. I cried because I was like, what is this moment? This is a marionette and Adrian moment. The first ever proper moment. And even the master Fu knew they belong together. And I was just like, oh my god. Guys, that has been my very favourite. I'm going to try and do monthly favourites. But to start it all off, I decided to do Miraculous Ladybug. And I will be updating my, AM, my studio channel and my gaming channel as always and I uh, hope to see you next time guys this has been Crystal Acura guys and stay kawaii